Hey folks, Max here again, and welcome to another video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to figure out the JSON that's being passed when using streaming uh, action card. All right. Uh, so again, you set up a, a streaming action, you're sending a, a set of uh, records to the helper flow, but then how do you figure out the JSON that's being sent to the helper flow, right? Because you, you most likely will need to retrieve data from that object and, and process each record get the email or the ID or whatever else is available in that object. Okay. So let's uh, see how we can do that. Um, so I already have uh, a flow here with the helper flow with the streaming action. I'm using list users with search and I'm sending suspended users. And this is my helper flow, right? I have another video uh, that shows how to set up a helper flow with the streaming action. I'm going to link the video here as well but to quickly review so the record this is the current record that's being passed to the helper flow and then the state this allows you to define additional parameters really anything you need additionally to pass to the helper flow okay but again let's focus on the record in this video so let's run and i should have three users here who are suspended and you can always check that and record streamed. And let's go here. And let's go to flow history. And then you see this. All right. Let me. All right. So this is where you, this is the record that was streamed, each record. And then you open it. And so this is where you determine, this is where you sort of learn or figure out like, hey, what's the JSON that's being passed to this helper flow? Right? And this is exactly the JSON so that's being passed. So if I'm using a new streaming action card that I've never used before and something, you know, I don't know what the object looks like, I'm going to look here, right? So you can see right here what's being passed. And then, right? Now, for example, so you can also like expand. There's some, some of these are objects. So you can expand, for example, and you can expand uh, even more if you want. Okay. Now, once you see this, you know how do you get some of these properties? So we're going to use a card called get uh, multiple, where we can get you know take an object and retrieve uh, specific path values. Okay. So let's let's do a couple of them here. Let's do let's see here. Um, let's do email, and then let's do profile. So profile is an object. Okay, so we'll do get multiple. We're going to connect the object itself and then email. And the key is that you have to match exactly the, the, the case, the path name. So if email is capital E, then it has to match exactly. So this is a string. And again, I usually forget what the... Um, here we go. I forget what I wanted to get. So this is raw output. So I'm just going to copy and go back and then raw output. Now the raw output is an object. So you do want to change it to an object. Okay. So let's save. Let's go here and let's run. Right. And let's look. So we got the object and you can see we got the email and then you can see that you get this raw output. Um, the, you get the entire object. All right. Uh, now let's say we also want to get the profile. Okay. So, okay. I already forgot it's profile or lowercase. Uh, so let's go here. Let's create another one. So we'll say row output dot profile. And then this is also an object, All right? So let's save and let's go to history and let's go to main flow and then let's run this. All right, let's see. And we got the email, we got the raw output and then the raw output profile. Again, it's still an object, but you can see how we can kind of uh, go you know, by writing the, the, the path, you can really select anything you want uh, in the 
uh, in the object. So again, I mean, the first step is really just looking here. It's like, oh, this is the object. This is the JSON that I'm getting. And then you can figure out like what exactly you need. Um, but let's try another example quickly. Let's let's delete this. Now, what's nice is that this stays the same. Like no matter what um, object you're streaming, this stays the same. But let's go back to the main flow and let's change this to um, let's do groups. So do octa and then something with groups because it's going to be different JSON. So um, search groups. And then streaming. And maybe we can get all the groups. I think if we don't specify any inputs, we're going to get all of them. Let's choose flow. All right, so let me quickly cancel. Let me go back to here. So what I do is sometimes I actually use this option just to make sure that, you know, this, I'll get something back. So let's quickly do that. I don't know, we don't really care. Well, no, we do because I don't know the ID. So let's go back. Uh, let's try this again. Oh, it was right there, okay. Quickly, groups, octa, group. Do the first. Let's take out the ID. That's what I was trying to do. And let's just give us a test. All right, so I do get these groups, right? So this is just to make sure it works. All right, uh, let's close this quickly back, go back to options and select streaming. Still loading here. I don't want to click anything like last time. Okay, and then let's uncheck we don't, we, because we want to get all of them. And then let's go to streaming and select the helper flow. All right, and that's it. And let's give this a run test. Okay, so now I have four, uh, four groups were streamed. And we go here, then we can open again. I, you know, let's say I'm not familiar with this JSON and I open and I see this JSON, it's very different from the user one, right? Uh, we get some, um, again, JSON that's for, for a group. And then there's some profile, there is a name, for example, and description. So let's say we want to get the profile here. Um, you know, once you learn the JSON and you know what you need, and I already forgot what I wanted the actual, so it's called profile. All right. So go to flow, let's get, get multiple. And we'll connect the object and then profile. And again, it, it is an object, but if we wanted to get more specific, we can do profile. Oh, I always just forget <laughs> um, name. So we'll say customize and we'll say name. Save. All right, last run and then we'll be done. So running this, going back to helper. And we can see the profile. Uh, we get the, it is an object. So we get the object here and then we get the name, right? Using the, the using the profile.name, all right? So that's all I wanted to show you. Again, you know, if you're running the streaming uh, card for the first time, whether it's groups, users, or anything else, if you're not familiar with the JSON that you're gonna get, again, this is really your first step is like, hey, this is what I'm getting, right? And then you can use get multiple card to retrieve any path 
um, from here and then continue uh, with the helper flow. All right. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.